morning. Don't mind me and my bed head. It is 11 a.m. Saturday morning. So yesterday, Friday was like a really, really rough day. It's kind of been exhausting. My daughter is almost five months old and she has been teething. I'm waking up a lot more in the middle of the night and I didn't like even think about it until last night that the reason why she was probably waking up wasn't because she was hungry. Um, but because her teeth were bothering her because Thursday night she woke us up three times she and she hadn't napped all day So she went to sleep from like six to nine evening. Excuse me <clears throat> I woke her up at nine to eat and she didn't finish that bottle She just wanted to go back to sleep. So she did and then woke me up at two Thought she was hungry because she hadn't finished her bottle But um, she only drank about three ounces of it and then she woke me up at six like one ounce of that bottle that I gave her but really like her t her gums were just bothering her she didn't really want any food and then she woke up about 20 minutes before my alarm went off for me to go to work so I barely got any sleep Thursday night so I was exhausted Friday and that is our long day at work my anxiety was just acting up it was really manner I just didn't have enough time to get everything done and then at the end of the day I was off in my vault. I was over money that I shouldn't have had and I have no idea why. Um, we couldn't figure it out, couldn't find the tickets, everyone was balanced. So I really hope it was just a glitch in the system and our back office. But yeah, so yesterday was just rough. I was really, really anxious. I was exhausted and company over because my brother-in-law came into town and he brought his new puppy her and I relaxed. I didn't have to like sit there and me be the one feeding her, me being the entire one that's holding her and doing all that stuff. I had helped someone able to take a breath, especially after the long day that I had. But I've also been feeling a lot of guilt lately. Mom guilt, which I don't think is to the extreme that a lot of people mention, but I really feel comfortable like not guilty um, giving my daughter to my husband because she's half his responsibility. But other times I feel like like I can't fully relax when he has her. Is it because I, I trust him with our child, but it's just how he is. Like he jokes around a lot, he says a lot of things and it just it bothers me a lot of the times and it, I, my sense of responsibility is different than his sense of responsibility. He doesn't have any problem giving her to somebody else or asking them or telling them to do such and such with her when he's there. And I'm not like that. I, like, I always feel like she's my child. She's my responsibility. So I'm going to do everything that I know that I need to do to take care of her. Even if someone offers, usually I still do it myself. And my husband's just not like that. And I think it's a woman thing or a mom thing and not a man thing because my mother-in-law said the same thing. My mom said the same thing feeling because it's the first time I've ever had to deal with this. It's the first time I've ever felt that kind of way and it's really agitating and you know, it's, it's bothering me, but that could also just be me. Uh, so I've been having a lot of anxiety about that and having a rough time this week, especially with like no sleep because I don't handle sleep well. And I think we did get lucky with him because she for the most part sleeps through the night it's just been this past week that's been a little hard um throughout the night because like i said i think she's teething really bad and it's bothering her in the middle of the night saturday morning and we had a plan that I was going to take a couple hours by myself and brandon would take the baby and go spend time with his brother and his parents um they picked up a new hobby golfing so that's what you're going to do so I thought that, hey, he'll do it when she wakes up this morning, she'll take her, they'll leave the room, they'll go on their merry way, and I will be content and happy and be able to sleep in until like 10, 11, and then get up and take a shower, soak in the bathroom, my book, and just relax, but that obviously did not happen. He, she woke up, actually she slept an hour later than I thought she was going to, and I put her over on the bed, I changed her diaper, and then I was like, okay, your, your, your dad's responsibility, I'm going to turn around and get to bed. Her, um, but they were still laying there in the bed and then you know I was pretty much awake at that point because she wasn't eating anymore and she was starting to get fussy so I had to help play with her and they weren't leaving the room so I could relax and then Brandon finally got up and took a shower and got dressed and was getting all things together and obviously while he was doing that stuff I had to take care of her so by that point I was awake and my body just I can't sleep anytime anywhere that I want. I can't. It's just not how I am. Once I'm awake in the morning, I'm usually awake. Like I can't fall back asleep. Now maybe at maybe in like two or three hours from now, eat another meal or something. I'll get tired and I want to go home and take a nap. Like sometimes after I get off work, I can sleep. I'm home and like either take a shower or just directly get in my bed and I'll be able to fall asleep. But obviously as a parent, I can't, I don't have that option. Or if I do, I can't relax enough to fall asleep because I feel guilty that someone else has my child. 
and when I should be the one taking care of her. Even though if Brandon was able to be home and take her, they'd be in the same room as me, and I'd, I still wouldn't be able to relax. Because I was, I kind of got aggravated because I was really hoping that once she woke up, they'd just be on their merry way and leave me alone. <laughs> it was a little while ago, and I cleaned up the kitchen a little bit, and I made myself an early lunch slash. Guys, I feel better when I talk about things when I get it off my chest. So that's what I decided to do. So I just opened the camera up and just talked about it and now I do feel a little bit better. A few hours to myself so I actually think I'm going to go do something that I haven't been able to do in a really long time for a run because I haven't been able to do that in so long. I mean I did it that when I was on maternity leave but it was a lot more difficult and it wasn't as fun because I you know was had to keep my eyes peeled for things I was watching out because I had I was had the stroller with me and I had my daughter with me and it's just not the same so now that I have this morning to myself I think I'm just gonna go do that and then I'll come back I'm gonna take a shower and then soak in a really hot steaming bath with either bubbles or salt and read my book until it gets cold or I want to get out and they'll most likely be home by then after the week I had, I just, I really need some time to myself. Tonight, me and my sister are going to this thing called the Hairball, which is like a rock concert, like a cover band does a lot of rock bands from like the 80s and 90s. So it's going to be really fun. So this is my running outfit. So these are the maternity shorts that I was talking about. They go all the way up. I haven't worn these since I was pregnant. Um, and they have pockets, so it's really convenient. And a sports bra, and I just have my hair up in a claw clip. So I, like I said, I lived in these while I was pregnant. So, and then I have my, I really need some new sneakers. I've had these since 2018, I think February of 2018. I really need to get some new ones, but I don't like to spend money on myself. All right, let's go. Well, I just came back from my run. As you can see, I'm hot. My face is all red, but I feel amazing. I feel really good. I was able to get out in the sun and the fresh air and breathe and just be by myself. And it felt really, really nice. So the thing about these is that I didn't realize that they don't, <laughs> they don't hold up very well. Um, like I kept having to hold them like this when I was running when I'm walking it's fine But it'll start like bunching right here and start looking like that y'all can even see it Start bunching like that at the bottom because these are maternity and I didn't realize that this extra room like it obviously I know it's meant for that when your stomach grows, but Now that I don't have one It just It comes down <laughs> So that was kind of difficult. So I really I'm probably actually gonna have to go order some actual bike biker shorts that aren't maternity. I was really hoping that I could save money and just be able to wear these because that's just the kind of person I am. And I think I probably can, but not often because like I said, these are just gonna fall right off. I had to I had to hold them up. And it looks really, I don't know, I don't like the way they look in the crotch and I feel like people stare right there and it's, yeah. So, definitely gonna invest in some different, newer, regular biker shorts. So I currently have all the freaking bubbles and this is the bath tray that I got from Amazon. I love it. I use it every single time I get in the bath and I actually bathe more now because I use this. And this is a book that I'm currently reading, The Protector by Morgan Elizabeth. And I have my really cold ice water that I got from the fridge. Um, so Mr. and I are going to a book convention in Las Vegas called Love in Las Vegas in October and Morgan Elizabeth this author is actually going to be there. My sister has become a very avid reader over the past two years and we both grew up reading loving books and in 2020 that's all I did like I read 
a ton and then I was planning and then I got pregnant and preparing for her so I kind of like laid off of the reading for a while and work got crazy busy. I started getting back into like reading as often as I possibly can. I that's very difficult to find time to do that so a lot of the time I do it when I'm in the bath. So I'm currently reading this series. I've been reading a lot of books that my sisters recommended and let me borrow because I'm cheap and I hate spending money so I'm not going to buy like unless I know I'm going to love the book I don't want to go buy it. So um, I guess that's why the library is a good option, but so she's been, she's basically my library and I'm reading all the books that she thinks that I'm going to love and books that I think that look interesting. I just take from her, read and give it back. And then if I fall in love with that that much, I will purchase it myself and add it to my book collection because I know I'll read it again. So I'm going to enjoy this. It is two o'clock. I just got out of the bath and I'm using my gin roller as always because it like makes my face really smooth and I really, really dry skin. Ben is on his way home with his family. They are bringing lunch from this place called JJ's that's here where we live. I mean, some wings and some fries. And my sister called me while I was in the bath and she's getting herself together and she's gonna head over here soon. Probably after I eat in a, about an hour or so, I'm gonna start getting ready for tonight for a concert. with my sister who went downstairs to get something to drink and she's finishing a bottle and hopefully she'll go down for a nap. She had a half a can of carrots earlier and she down it. Her face is still a little bit orange and stained but thankfully tomorrow is bath day. And after this episode's over, I think I'm going to get ready for tonight. I was wrong. The concert starts at 6.30. I thought it started at 5.30 but girl, you just got an elf and a half left. You got your head stuck between pillows. <laughs> Much better.
Yeah. <laughs> so we just came back from lunch. On the house. Yeah. She just spit up all over herself, which is why her shirt's wet. We I wiped her down with a washcloth, but we just came home from lunch. I clean, was cleaning the house this morning, and I need to go through her clothes today. Put her newborn in. Creamy clothes away. And... Um, I think I'm going to take it for a walk because it's really nice weather outside. And Brandon, Brandon needs to clean the downstairs. I'll give him some peace. So me and Em wound up taking a nap instead of going for a walk because I was exhausted. And um, after Brandon's brother left, me and him kind of laid down on the couch with Em. mentioned his Facebook rails on his phone and it made me really tired. Then he went to the store and it had fallen asleep on me. I just kind of fell asleep too with her on the couch. Couldn't reach my phone or anything like that. I really wanted a nap. It was not the greatest step ever. Every single time she moved or like would squirm around, I'd have to pat her butt and wake me up. So it really wasn't the best nap. Probably about 10, 15 minutes of that. I still need to go through her clothes. I need to put all of her newborn and um, preemie clothes up. <laughs> Uh, I mean, she's almost five months old. She'll be five months old in less than a week, so. I guess now's really the time to do it. This is the pile of clothes I need to go through. Her newborns and preemies need to go in this box, and I have a couple in her closet. This is literally the only section of newborns that we have left. This right here. And actually, this still fits her because it's actually huge. And I just put this on her not that long ago, and it fit her, so I think I'm actually going to leave all of these newborns out, because I took the ones that don't fit her anymore, and put them up while I'll put these, no, I'll leave those out. I can put that up, because she's never going to wear that again in this, because it's way too, way too hot for it now. I'll leave the jacket out, because it's spring, but it's way too hot for this. <laughs> So it's gonna take up more space. Um, and she has she doesn't have a lot of zero to three month like onesies like in her dresser, but she has a ton in her closet, like that entire middle section is all zero to three months. Every box that I put all her preemie stuff in, the hats, the socks, and the mittens and stuff like that, everything fits perfectly. Um, I know it's weird, but I keep every I keep the first box of every subscription that I've had, and this is Emery's Love Every, so um, I'm glad that I kept it because I realized that I ran out of all my other boxes. Put a bunch of my postpartum stuff in the ones that I've had before, like my bump box. I've put a bunch of stuff in there. So, um, this is the only thing I had, so I'm grateful I had it. And we're going to try and see if we can fit it underneath her crib because that's where we kept all of her excess diapers and wipes and stuff that we got from people gifting us while she was born, which we haven't fully gone through yet. Um, we're still in one since she's almost five months old, but she's small. I think she's like almost 12 pounds now, probably at 12 pounds now, um, but still in ones. Um, but we depleted most of it, so I think we're going to be able to fit this stuff underneath there if that is the weight. 
will fit. I'm not sure if it will go under here. Well, Mama screwed up because I forgot entirely of the drawer. All of those are newborns. Yeah. Oops. That's a, that's a thing for another day. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that right now. Hi, Yams. You want to walk? Finally got to our walk. We, um, I really wanted to go for a walk because it's really nice out and I'm really enjoying the fresh air. Um, especially after yesterday getting out and running. Really, really wanted to come outside. So we made it before the sun went down. Um, relax. And then when we get home, we're going to eat some carrots. Um, she finished a bottle before he left, so hopefully she'll be hungry for some carrots. And then we give her a bath while Brandon is cooking dinner. We're having chicken gyros. We, um, I've been recently getting into gyros, um, like the normal ones, the lamb, the Greek, just regular gyros. Um, I had them at work, and that was the first time I tried them, and I instantly loved them. So we made some at, for dinner this past week, I think Friday. And um, he's going to make chicken ones tonight. So we're going to do that. And then we're just going to relax and get ready for work tomorrow. So I think we're going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my weekend. I had a lot of mom guilt and a lot of things on my chest that I wanted to get off. And I'm glad I could talk to you guys about it. And um, just coming along with me for the rest of my couple of days. So um, I will see you guys next time. Bye, Ims.